This video shows the bending of the arm of a continuous arm Windsor chair. And first of all we have to steam the length of wood that forms the arm in a steamer. And here I've got a steam kettle that's producing a good head of steam to heat up the wood that's in that insulated jacket. I have to move very quickly once the wood's ready. It's been steamed for 45 minutes. It's green wood that's been riven from a tree. And I have to pull it out of the steamer and one has really about a minute, minute and a half to bend it. So the first thing to do is to pop it on the bending former which gives the shape and then actually sort of wind it in using the windlass. So here I'm attaching the clamp that will hold the bending strap. The bending strap stops the wood fibres ripping apart as you pull so it makes a far better bend. I'm using a couple of cables there that I clip on using yacht fittings. And here we have the windlass that I'm winding. That will pull the cables and then pull the, the wooden arm in. So this is the first bend. But the continuous arm chair has two bends. So it's a compound bend. This is the first straightforward bend that forms the back of the chair. With this bend I had a slight bit of trouble on the left hand side where the wood wasn't bending quite so readily as on the right hand side. That's often due to a knot and happens quite often. So I was trying to coax the metal cover over in the right place to stop the bend going out of alignment. So that's bending reasonably well. I'm having to move quite quickly so the wood doesn't cool too much. On goes the clamp to try and correct that little bit of which wasn't bending quite so well. That's brought it into line now, so that's pretty good. Keep the pressure on, it's a fair bit of pressure on that windlass. It's certainly a lot easier using one of those and trying to do it with your bare hands. On go more clamps. As the wood cools it will actually keep its shape so one could in theory take the clamps off probably within 20 minutes or so but it's best to leave them on for a few hours just let the wood really cool down and then you know you're okay. So that's it, that's the first bend. I've used what's called green wood for this tree, it's actually wood riven from a, a live tree so you cut the tree down and you writhe and shape the actual length of wood. It's got a higher moisture content so it bends a lot easier. That wood there has a 20% moisture content. The next stage is to, to do the second bend which is to bend the arm sections of the chair. And here I've got two separate steaming jackets running off my steam generator and I bend each arm individually. So here I'm just plugging up the steam feed pipe and taking off one of the insulated jackets. So that bit of wood for the arm there has been steamed for about 45 minutes. And again it's the same sort of principle, there's a metal bending strap to support the fibres. This time I've actually rotated the bending strap by using various fixings that I have. Again it's a windlass to wind in and you'll see as I put the pressure on I'm supporting the bend on the strap so there's not a gap between the strap and the wood and a fairly even steady pressure to get that bend down. That's a very tight bend, it's a four and a half inch radius bend so it's actually quite a tricky one to do. This wood is ash which has quite a good bending property. One could steam bend lots of different woods like oak or elm, sycamore. Ash is very good for chair making. So there we go, it's bending in quite nicely. Again a fair bit of pressure. And clamp that in. And again the former you just hold the clamps on the former, tighten them up 
and leave them for a little while till the wood has cooled properly. So that's one of them done. And then it just leaves one more arm to bend. And it's the same idea. Remove it, bend the um, sleeve very quickly. Clip on the windlass steel wire. And then wind it in, again putting pressure on the stainless steel support so that the wood fibres don't rip as they're being poured down. There's a huge amount of, sort of torsional change in that wood as it's being bent, being stretched one side and compressed the other side. Someone has to work quite quickly while the wood's still warm. Clamp it in and we're done. Not quite clearance there. And winding in before it cools down and it's worked. So that's the bending of the continuous arm Windsor chair. It's a compound bend, quite a, an advanced bend for a steam bender. And there's the finished item. And that can come off the former within an hour or so if one wants. I'm going to leave it in overnight just to be certain it really holds well.